All right, so welcome to Move It. We are going to do a standing workout today. Of course, if you want to sit down, you can do the whole thing seated, or you can stand and sit as you want to. You need some hand weights. You also need either a small ball or maybe a throw pillow off of your couch. We're just going to do one little segment of inner thighs. We're going to do some intervals of cardio and then weight training, cardio and strength training. It is up to you on how hard you want to work. All right? The bigger the leg movement, the higher the heart rate. Yes, we will add arms, but it's really about your legs. So let's march a little bit, pump those arms. Maybe roll those shoulders some. Maybe circle those wrists. Don't be afraid to make adjustments. We all feel different on different days. Maybe today's the day where you can work out really hard. Maybe today's the day where you need to back off a little bit. I don't know. I can tell you how I feel, but I don't know how you feel. So you make that decision on your own. So I'm going to take my march. I'm going to turn it into a little rock step. Shifting my weight front and back. Just warming up, just shifting the weight. You can always get a drink of water whenever you want to. Just try to keep your feet moving while you do that. A couple more. Let's march again. Here we go. Roll those shoulders again towards the back of the room. Circle those wrists. Both directions. Wiggle your fingers at me. Good. Pump those arms again. Let's tap our toes out front, nice and long. Push the opposite arm from toe forward. Point the toes if you can. Then I want you to bring the leg across the body a little bit. Bring that toe across the midline so it's coming across your belly button. Bring it back out front. Now flex your foot. Pull the toe up. So it's a heel dig. Let's take both arms out front. Take a quick check of your tummy. Try to pull those belly muscles in a little bit. Let's do an easy bicep curl. Let's do two heels on each side. Heel big, two and two. So it's a heel, toe, heel, switch, heel, toe, heel, switch. Left and right, a single heel. Left, right, left, right. Can you break the arms up? Just easy, loose arms right now. Couple more, then we're gonna start marching. We'll be marching left foot lead. Here we go, let's march. So it's left, right, left, right, left, right. So you already know what we're going to do. We're going to take that left foot and do our rock step. Front to back, the new leg. Shifting your weight. I'm still picking up my right foot. A few more. Let's just march again. March. We're going to tap the toes, start with that left foot, tap out front, both arms, push front, 
Just like before, we're trying to point that foot. Now I'm going to keep the feet just like this, but I'm going to change my arms. Yeah. Move in your body. Flex that foot. Come to that heel there. Push those arms fun. Can you lift the knee instead? And you can always stay with the heel there. I'm not worried about how high you lift that leg. Just try to get your foot off the floor a little bit. Pay attention to what you are doing. Put a couple more.
your arms down a little bit. Reach. You should feel that heart rate going up. Get ready to march your power walk. Let's go. Four up. Hold. Four back. Hold. Four up. I can walk. Hold. Four back. Single side step. Bend your knees. That's why you have them. L if you want it. The L step. You can always stay front with it. A couple more. Tummies in. Stay front, curl your heel. Down and up, down and up. Remember, the arms are optional. Keep the feet wide. Yes, tighten those arms up if you can. Can you take this and move forward with it? Sure you can. Come up to me. Then hold. Move backwards. And hold. You can always stay in one spot. Move up with the knee. Now move it back. Get ready for your march or your power walk. You ready? March up for a walk. March. Hold. Back. Hold. Up. Hold. Back. Hold. Here's your side step. You can keep the side step. Or make it an L. Over, front, back, side. Right, front, back, left. Right, front, back, left. Or just stay front. One more. Stay front and curl your needle.
We're marching. Let's pump the arms. We are going to start over, all right, in, in our little routine we're learning today. You decide how big you want your movement. Ready? Move up four. Hold. Move back. Hold. Do it again. It can be a power walk. Hold. Move back. Single side step. It'll take just a few seconds to get in the groove. Stay here or make an L. Up and over. Do whatever you want with those arms. Make sure you're pivoting on the ball of the foot. Couple more. When we come front, curl the heel. Yep. Can you pull down a little bit? Up, down, up with the tush. Curl that heel. Get ready for your knees. Wide knees, move up. Come to me. Hold. Now move back. Hold. Now move up. Work hard enough for your breathing heavy. Hold.
Get that chest up a little bit. Ready for your knees? Let's go. Move up. Four. Hold it. Go back. Go back. Hold it. Move up. Squeeze the ball, but contract those gluteal 
your muscles. Squeeze, squeeze. The legs and the butt muscles. Pretty quick. One, two, three, four. I'm just showing you with my arms. We're not really doing anything. I'm trying to show you what my legs are doing. Squeeze, squeeze. Contract those butt muscles, please. You'll be glad you did. Couple more. Squeeze and hold. Squeeze it. Hold it. Squeeze that pillow or that ball. Squeeze your butt muscles. Contract those butt cheeks together. Squeeze tighter. Are you squeezing those legs? Release it. Take that ball or towel or pillow out. Shake your legs. I'm going to put my palms on the ball or the pillow. My fingers are not touching it. It goes out, shoulder height, and I press in and in. So I'm squeezing in and in. Straighten your arms out. You want to feel that across your chest, up around the armpit. If you do not have a ball, you can push your palms together. Squeeze and squeeze. Straighten those arms out. Straighten those arms out. Shoulder height or lower. You do not want your fingers on it. Just the palm. Keep pulsing, but come down. Down in front of the body. Keep pulsing. Press, press, press. Couple more. Good. Relax it. Bend and straighten those elbows. Wiggle your fingers. Put the ball down, pick up your weights. I'm going to turn to the side. You may want to do the same so that you're not hyperextending your neck, trying to look at your screen. I'm going to split my stance. I'm going to hinge. I start out front. I'm going to roll and kick back. So I pull. My elbows stay back. I kick out. I bend, my elbows stay back, and then I finish my row. I pull, push, pull, push. You need to hinge from your hips. Slow down. You cannot do this properly standing up tall. You've got to hinge. Pull, push, pull, push. Work at an angle. Work the back, work the tricep. You can always switch your lean leg. Act like you're dragging those weights through peanut butter. We have a firm grip on the weight, but we are not squeezing it. Good, a couple more. Kick back only. Do not swing. Watch that head and that neck. About five seconds. Good. Finish the row. Come up. Roll your shoulders. Set your weights down. We're going to get our heart rate up one more time. Grab a drink if you want it. We'll come back. Easy march. We're going to give ourselves a hug. You've got plenty of time to get a drink. Switch that arm on top. Move your feet. Pat yourself on the back. Let's pump those arms. Start over again. March forward four. Hold. Go back. Hold. Build up. You can power walk. Hold. Go back. Hold. Single side step. Stay here or make an L. Remember to pivot on the bone of the foot. Stay 
increasing that lung capacity. Burning those calories. Couple more each way. We 
are tipping over. Tip. Show me that straight wrist. Show me those soft knees. Exhale. Couple more. on both sides. I want you to turn to the side so that you can turn your head to the side to see your screen. I'm going to keep the weights on the outside of my thigh. I'm going to tip forward and work into a flat back and the weights go on the outside of my legs. So I've got to tip a hinge. I go no lower than parallel to the floor. You don't have to go that low. Lift your butt, push it back, pull the tummy in. Slide the weights right against the outside of your leg. So if you were wearing marching band pants, you slide down the stripe of your pants. Maybe you just want a slight tip. That's fine with me. A slight hinge. So this targets your hamstrings all the way up into the middle of that butt muscle. It also helps to create a strong core. Pull your tummy in. Tip. Lift the hips. We really don't need to go any lower than the knees, most of us. Let's try two more. Really zip up your belly. When you're up on top, we're going to set our weights down. coming back. Easy little swing. So I'm lifting my opposite foot. Right? A little bit of a swing in this wrist. Then pull those arms around. Separate your shoulder blades like you're giving a tree a big hug. Let's swing the arms open. Stick the chest out. Exaggerate a little bit. Go ahead and take the thumbs down and pull it back towards your tailbone. Stick your chest out. Relax. Roll your shoulders. Wiggle those fingers for me. I'm just going to turn my music down a little bit. Wiggling your fingers. Circle your wrist the other direction. So when you wake up in the morning before you even get out of bed, wiggle those fingers, do some ankle circles, some wrist circles. Wiggle your toes and wiggle your fingers before you even get out of bed. All right? Let's split the stance, one leg back. It doesn't matter to me which one. My legs are on railroad tracks. I just step back. I'm going to lean into that front leg a little bit by bending the knee. My back heel is down. Get my calf. I'm going to tuck my hips under and forward to try to get the hip flexor in the quad. I'm going to hold still with my body, but I'm going to take my head and move from one side to the other very slowly. Very slowly. Chances are it might challenge your balance a little bit. That's okay. Once the head is back to the front, we're going to switch legs. So new leg back, heel. I've got a big wide step. I am on railroad tracks. I'm going to bend that front knee. I'm going to tuck my hip under. My body is going to remain still. I'm going to take my head. I'm going to tip it to the floor. And then it's going to move nice and slow. And I'm going to tip it back and look overhead. It might challenge your balance slightly. I'm going to move the head down one more time to the floor slow. Hold that lower body as still as you can, and I'm coming up. Then I pull the head center. I'm going to bring those feet in. Turn front, step wide. Then step wider. Turn your toes out. Bend the knees and slide down. Drop one shoulder. Switch sides, drop it center towards midline. Center it, 
Now I want you to push to one leg. Hands go on that right thigh. Straighten your left leg if you can. Your toes and knees are turned out. Switch sides. Knee tracks towards the toe. Big lean forward. Coming back to center. Walk your feet in. Toe, heel, toe, heel. Roll your back, round it, roll up, shoulder roll. Get a nice breath in. Exhale and shake those hands out. One more time, nice breath in. Exhale, shake those hands out. We are all done for today. I appreciate you all coming to exercise with me. Hope to see you next time.